Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a more informative video. I feel like I've been doing these quite a bit. Um, I don't know how many more of these I need to do. If there's any recommendations, leave them in the comments. But today's video is going to be how to properly host Bahamut High Level. Before we start on that, I will mention, yes, I do know that this should use Spark video. If for some reason, it's not pairing. I'll be re-uploading it in a, a little bit before the banner free rolls. So before the daily reset, the video will be uploaded and then you can use that video to decide if you're going to spark or not. But this video should be coming out before that video as I want to get it out before I do my Bahamut High Level daily on stream today. Now with hosting Bahamut High Level is very restrictive. I'm going to try to mention every option you can't possibly do, but just know that it's very restrictive as to what option you have because we're talking about efficiency here. And honestly, you can host any classes you want, but is it going to be a fun run for people in your raid? No. So today we're going to properly learn how to host it to make the run a lot smoother for everyone in the raid. Now, let's go to party here and talk about the class. Now, in terms of classes, you only have two options, unfortunately. Um, the first option is Elysian, as you see here. This is your main go-to debuffing class. So you probably see it quite often in any properly hosted co-op run, but um, this is definitely the class you're looking to play. Secondly, you have another class. It's not a class four, unfortunately. It's actually a class three, and it's the predecessor to Elysian Superstar. This class works perfectly fine. It has all the proper debuffs required. So if you don't have Elysian by some weird reason you know you can run superstar and you still get the same effect don't make excuses that oh i don't have superstar then at that point i don't know how to help you now when it comes to class skills you only really need two the third skill is a freebie you can put anything you want the two skills you're looking for is soul soloist luckily this skill is embedded in superstar so you don't have to bring it on that class but the, you're bringing this for elysian as a way to hit the foe's debuff resistance and lower it. It allows everyone in the raid to have an easier time hitting debuffs, which is very hard in Bahamut high level at certain points without this skill. The next skill you're bringing is Angelic Voice 2. This is something you have to bring in Superstar as well. This is mainly just to charm the boss so people don't die on Ogis. Nothing feels better than almost getting hit by Skyfall and then a boss being hit by Charm. So very, very good. As I mentioned, the third slot is up to preference. Put anything you feel that makes you do better, but it's definitely preference. Now we're on to characters. So I've broken them up into three slots. Slot one is paralyzed. This is going to be your paralyzed character. Um, there's no up, there's no like debate on this. You have to bring paralyzed. So. There's only two options in this in this category. Next, we have Break Extend. This is also a very niche area. Um, there's not many characters that have it, but uh, we'll talk about them here. And the third slot is Miscellaneous. This can be a field effect, debuff increasing, like debuff uh, success rate increase, or lowering resistance as well. Other than that, you, you have like not much. It's just a miscellaneous slot, you know, you can put, you have more flexibility in slot three than you do in slot one and two. But let's first talk about slot one. This is Prima Song slot. Um, you can run Satori, but trust me, I don't recommend running Satori. Satori is like, I'm desperate and I want to host, but I don't have Song. That's pretty much what Satori is for. If you don't have Song and you very desperate to host, you can run her. Just know that it's a lot harder and you better hope your run is fast. Because if it ain't fast, that Paralyze is coming off real quick. Now, I did mention Satori and Song. Song 4 star also works, but you want 5 star for her extended, uh, her extended um, Paralyze. So keep that in mind. If you have four star, four star can work fine, 
but you want five star just for the ability to extend paralyze i don't have to really talk much about paralyze you apply it at 50. i'm going to show you a video at the end of this on how to properly debuff it but generally you, you apply paralyze at 50 the moment it goes into 50 and get carried slot two this is break extend you want the boss to be in break extend the moment it goes into break so that people are not getting hit with out of break ogies non-stop consistently now this is a very very hard bracket there's only two characters i remember off the top of my head that have it there may be others leave in the comments if you know any other characters that have break extend unfortunately sarina did lose his break extend with his rebalance patch are technically it's kind of nerfed because a lot of people use them for break extend so it's a lot harder now to break extend Bahamut high level but we'll talk about two options here option one which is Helenar um, he's a lot more accessible for people he does come with break extend um, it's not nearly as good as the other option I'm going to look at but you can run him so just keep that in mind for people who don't have the next option the next option is Esser five star Unfortunately, she does not have break extend on her four star. It's only a lot at level 85. So you have to five star her to unlock this ability to break extend. But trust me, she had a really decent hit, a really decent, a really decent hit rate. I'm not taking that out of the video, by the way. But yeah, she had a pretty decent hit rate. So you'll be fine with applying debuffs with her. But not everybody has her. You should. She's amazing of a character. But I understand that not every player has this character. So, for people who don't have her, Helenar is an option for you. Yes, level up your force, level up your SR characters, bro. You need to. Other than that, I don't think there's any other break extend characters, but maybe I'm forgetting one. So just leave in the comments if another. And now we're on a miscellaneous. So I'll talk about the options here. Flare Tato used for her flare effect. Um, it's very good very commonly used in the raid so if you have her you can run her another option to run here is um that's it for fire i think yeah water has a ton of options luckily so things you can run is summer ismir if i can find her summer ismir where is summer ismir oh there she is okay cool so you can run summer ismir she has the inverse of flare where her ability is to give the attack boost early on and it falls off later down the line so you can run ismir if you have her you can also run units like vajra she has the ability to lower the boss debuff success rate even more so with her skill one so it's i believe it's better than even running monkey so if you have vajra you can run her here um who else here I think that's it for water, honestly. Quatre. Quatre is pretty de decent if you're lucky enough to align any of his good skills or his good debuffs from his skill one. It's very crucial and helps a ton, like forfeit. Secondly, if you use his skill two, you should use it the moment it goes into Earth Phase as a way to cushion players so they don't get hit with out of break Ogi. So you would wait until the boss goes right into Earth Phase and wait like maybe a 68% on the boss and then apply gravity so that players aren't dying the moment the boss goes out of break. Earth, I don't, Earth has Catherine. You can run Catherine if you want to bring Entice to the raid. Um, it's a little bit of effort to do it, but um, if you have Catherine, you can run her. So it does stack with charm, which is really nice. Just know that she can eat it up. So, you're only using her to apply it, not to eat it up. You can also run Kaim if you have him, to recast any skills that missed. Um, he's pretty good. A lot of effort, but you can run him to recast anything that you have missed. Like, for example, Break Lock. If your Break Lock misses, you can use Kaim to recast it to try to hit it again. When you have Monkey, Monkey is used to apply more debuff success rate so you have an easier time applying debuffs so her skill three does that right here so 
not bad if you have her. Um, you can also run Lesia. Where is where is she? The only problem with Lesia is that you will have to run Christmas Shiru because she's going to get debuff at the start of the raid. So you want her to have Veil at the start because you can use her as a Thor, technically. It's a little bit more effort. It's a lot harder, but you can run her. Light has no one, I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Light has no one, to my knowledge. I may be forgetting a unit. Um, if you, any unit I'm forgetting that's really good for hosting, just tell me. But I'm pretty sure that's it for light. And dark, you can run Lunalu. Where's Lunalu? Lunalu. You can run Lunalu if you have her. Same ability to copy a skill you missed. Pretty good if you have any missed skills. For example, like Paralyze. Well, not Paralyze. Satori works with Paralyze, I think. But if you miss, like, um, what's it called? Break Lock. She's good for recasting Break Lock. And I believe that is it. Now, for weapons, your grid doesn't matter. The only weapons that matter is your main hand. So you, you can run the Dominion Harp. This is from the first event with Sendathon. Pretty good. You can also run the um, GW harp if you made it for light. And if you want to do more damage while debuffing, you can run the seraphic weapon. Those are your main three. Um, for this video, I won't be using any weapons in grid so that your grid does not matter. Just to make it uh, really simple. Now, for your sub summons and your main summon. Now, personally, Karen or how long are the opposite people really run? You run Karen as another way to recast your skills you missed. You can run Thor here. It really depends on what you want to do, but you can run a lot of options here. For your sub summons, you want to bring a Karen. If you're not running it as a main, you want to bring Karen because there's going to be time you miss skills. So you want to be able to recast things quickly. You run how long if you miss, let's say, songs paralyze. It can happen. It's not too often, but it can happen. If you end up missing it, you can re ogi with song to recast it again with Karen. Thor, you bring Thor um, as a way to call it at 50. And Medusa, it's your break lock if you miss break lock. Uh, break lock also can come from Mackie as well, if you have it. Now, if you're running Kieran as main, you can actually run, um, Hal and Mal, if you have them. Where's Hal and Mal? If you're running Kieran as main, you can run Hal and Mal as a way to give soldier, any soldier that changed it, a, a DPS boost. So you, this is pretty much like all your options right here. So you have Kieran, Hal and Mal to help a, a MVP guy, Thor debuffs, how uh, how long to re Ogi in case you miss and break lock if you miss your break lock. Other than that, that covers everything and let's go do a fight. I'll be right back. Okay, this took longer than I thought. Honestly, hosting a co-op takes forever, but uh, I'm gonna type the text down below if you guys want to host it via co-op or if you want to join my personal room. But for this video, I wanted to just showcase everything. You can see my health is rather low. Um, you want to refresh at the beginning to get through this little special thing. But yeah, I, I have no weapons in my pool, so you want to get through turns as fast as possible so you can apply debuffs and stuff. Also, if you have Thor, you want to cast a turn one. Just gotta mention that. Don't do what I just did. That's bad. Cast it turn one, guys. So we go through, our, we just want to get through these this phase so we can reply debuffs really quick. Okay. So here we're going to start applying debuff success rate down, apply charm, apply break lock. I missed, unfortunately. It'd be like that because you're using Helenar. Helenar is not like, no, I, I hit one of them, but I didn't hit the, uh, the break extend long enough. So Helenar is not the, uh, he's not the optimal unit if you have him. Just know that he's bar, 
he's far from optimal, but you can use him. You want to apply, you want to use Esser if you have her, but Helenart does work. This is the one reason you also don't want to bring Mackie as a sub because Medusa and Mackie, they take a while to get to. They're not like the quickest to get to. You can use them, but nine turns, unless the run's like really slow, which this run is not, it takes a while to get to them. Unfortunately, you right there. I didn't get to it. Now, I'm not mashing the hardest I can, but because I didn't get to it, it's not the best. Okay, so you want to Ogi here and then apply char uh, apply Thor. But yeah, Helenar is not the best. You really want to run Esther 5 star. But for this video, I'm using Helenar. Apply. Paralyze. Well, the Isis refreshes. Oh, it must be a light Luchador. Yeah, yeah, see. I like, I refresh and the bot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so disgusting. Bro, John is nuts. <laughs> Aphrodite. So, in the situation that there are light luchadors, right? Like, if you want to check your room, right? In the situation that there are light luchadors and light players, they actually don't want break lock. This is why I like Luchador 1. Because they were able to use Aphrodite, I believe he's running Aphrodite. Let, let's check. Maybe he's not, but if he's running Aphrodite, um, he was able to recast his John nonsense to do that again. But that is how you host it. Um, was it the perfect run? Not really. Things like, depending on the run, if you have Dark Soldiers and stuff, you want to apply Break Lock with Esser. Helenart does work, but he's not nearly as good. So, as you can see in the video, right? He, I think he only hit the break, the the um, one of the breaks. I don't remember which one he hit. He hit, he, he he didn't hit the break extend. He hit the damage boost, I think, which did hurt. But hopefully that video does help. Um, it was not a perfect run. I'm not gonna go look for like the perfect run or anything. But this is a way, this whole concept of how to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll talk about things. Till next time though, peace out.